Hi, this is Heath with Speedway Motors Tech Talk, and on this episode we're going to talk about kingpins. Uh, first we're going to start with some standard kingpins and then move into our deluxe kingpins. Uh, we get several calls about the deluxe kingpins, so we really wanted to kind of uh, really concrete those in for you to see how they go together and uh, you know give you a little bit more confidence when you put them together. Uh, first we have our 37 to 41 Ford spindles. That's really the only style that we sell. Uh, there are obviously lots of different spindles from 28 to 48. The majority of them you know, will interchange in between axles, uh, half ton truck and car spindles. They interchange from 28 to 47 and in 48 the half ton trucks changed. They had a little bit different dimensions. Um, so we'll start with our, our spindle and a lot of people will uh, sometimes throw this in and get it put on like that and they wonder why the top of their wheel is really tilted in. Uh, when you put these on, you know, you want obviously to have some caster, but you also want to have this mostly parallel with the world. That way when everything goes together, you're still going to have a little bit of caster, but it's still going to be installed correctly. These are our fitted spindles with kingpins, so they are extremely nice and worth the money. You know, basically they're already fitted and reamed and go together really smooth. And when you get your parts, you'll see that you have a couple little pieces and parts in here. We got some bearings, uh, we got some kingpin stops and uh, felt washers with caps, as well as some shims. Now, I have installed lots of these before uh, with Speedway Motors axles and our kingpins, and I've rarely had to use these but I'll show you what you would need to do uh, in order to use those. So, you know, basically the kingpin has a notch in it. It's got to be aligned with the axle in order to hold it in. You're going to put a cap on and the lip will be facing down and a felt washer will go under the cap and that's going to go on your kingpin first and slide up like that. And you're going to go ahead and fit it into the kingpin. And what you're going to do is you'll have your axle here and you're going to slide this kingpin all the way through the axle and your bearing here has two sides, right? So one side is flush, the other side is where they put it together and you want to keep the top side, the flush side up to keep the elements out of the bearing. Uh, so that's going to go there. You're going to line up your kingpin notch, the locator notch, and you're going to just install it and they may take a little bit of a tap at the the top of it to get it to finally go flush where you can put your your uh, locator in there and uh, the locators are pretty specific you basically put the threaded end into your axle first that way you don't see the nut from the back side and uh, it looks a little bit better and cleaner install and that's going to go ahead and lock that kingpin into your axle and then put your uh, put your uh, washer and nut on it and tighten it up. Now let's say you get it all put together and you see that uh, you can take this spindle, there's a little bit of movement in there or a little bit of movement in here. Uh, you can take a feeler gauge in between the axle boss and the kingpin and it's about uh, six one hundredths. Uh, if it's any more than that then you may have to put one or two shims in there just depending and then you will have a really tight fitting uh, kingpin that uh, will be installed correctly. So that's the standard kingpin set. It's, uh, you know, for the most part, pretty simple. Uh, where where the, the difficult part gets in is when we, we step to the uh, 37 to 41 uh, deluxe kingpins. These, um, they do require a lot more work, but they, they offer some value. Uh, they are gonna last a lot longer. Uh, you know, that technology with the standard kingpins is obviously old and they've stepped it up here. We've got little needle bearings uh, that help the kingpin ride. They wear a lot better. Um, the way you grease them is going to be uh, a lot better for, for a long lasting uh, lifetime for your, uh, your front axle setup. So this is, can go both ways. Like if you buy our brand new spindles from Speedway, you're going to have to press out the new bushings that are in here, which is no big deal. It comes with the tool to press those out, so you can just get rid of those, and you're going to put in the needle bearings that take place of those bushings. And you know, like we said, we talked about how you're going to put this together. Okay, this is right side up. Well, when you press out the old bushings, 
and you press in the new bearing, there's two different sizes in the 37 to 41. So one is short and one is just a little bit longer. And when you do that, and this is flipped over, you have the shorter bearing going in first and you're gonna press that in all the way until it's flush with the bottom of the spindle. So once you got that in, then you can go ahead and press your longer one in till it's flush with the bottom of the spindle and then you'll have uh, your starting point. So once those are pressed in, you're gonna take your king pins, and these also have a locator notch, of course, and one is longer than the other, right? So you got a short side and a long side, and uh, you can go ahead and check your axle and make sure that it's uh, correct, but mostly uh, your longer side is gonna go in first. So you're gonna already have your bearings pressed in here, you're gonna have your axle inserted, you're gonna also take a bearing for the lower portion of it, have that setting there, and then press that in. And once that's all setting in there, then you're able to actually take your other side and press the bearings in again with the short going in first and the long going in last. And uh, then once that's all installed, then you're able to put your locator pin in, threads first, and then this is where the, the problems kind of come with the installation because you got all these other parts and they're not like the standard kingpin, right? So you're going, what the heck is all this stuff? And this, these pieces really have a, a really good point to them because they're what's going to make servicing them easy, the, the life of them uh, to last a lot longer. So each one of these uh, kits comes with little caps and these caps are what you're going to put on the top and bottom of each spindle. Mostly, uh, on all of our kits, the top portion of these caps are gonna be with a felt washer. So it's gonna be like the standard Kingpin uh, set, but a little bit different. When you put the felt in the cap, and then the cap is the lip side down, you would install this in your the top of your Kingpin, like this, and then you have a little grease cert that goes in top. So that's actually what's going to lock that cap in. And it's also going to allow you to grease the kingpin. And you can see that there's holes in this kingpin to allow there to be grease in the entire setup. So, you know, where normally I would anti seize everything uh, with these kits, you, you can still do some anti seize on this when, before you put them in, but also, you know, grease them to, to keep them uh, going for a long, long time. Um, the bottom is where it kind of gets tricky. You see that uh, there are some O-rings here, and these O-rings kind of throw people off because, you know, what is that doing in a kingpin set? Well, on the bottom of them, of your kingpin, some of them are different. Some of them are formed different. Some of them were made different from, from uh, the beginning. So when you do that, you need a smaller cap like this and an O-ring and that's what will seal the bottom up. So where you would normally have, uh, you know, nothing like on the standard kingpin set, you'll have something that holds a cap in, uh, kind of helps keep the moisture out. And then also you have the grease cert, which will hold the cap in and allows you to grease it. So uh, I hope that really clears some things up with those because uh, it does throw people off. And, and, you know, even though you may have done uh, a bunch of standard kingpins and, and you want something that lasts a little bit longer than uh, you know this kind of kit it does have uh, does require extra work but it is a, a much better set uh, of kingpins and, and worth the money in my eyes um, you know there's so many differences in, in kingpins throughout the years from 28 to 48 I mean I could talk for hours about uh, you know just the differences uh, between year to year because uh, they didn't change every year, but certain specific groups of years were different. Um, some of them, you know, before, uh, before 35 would have bolt-on steering arms, um, and then certain years, uh, 28 through 31 Model A's, they have the bolt-on steering arms, and then 32 through four will have a different configuration, and then 37 through 41, uh, the round back style, they call it, which is what we stock, uh, are a little bit different from the 42 to 48. So that's the next kit that we get uh, quite a few calls on because it is different between the 37 to 41 setup, even though the installation is basically the same. 
uh, a 42 to 48 spindle. Uh, they call them a square back, and they are of a square design with rounded corners. Uh, so that's one way to identify them. And again, we could have an entire conversation about just identifying early Ford spindles because, believe it or not, there are so many differences in them. But the only real difference of the 42 to 48 kit is the kingpin is longer. Uh, so, you know, it's going to have a different configuration from the factory where sometimes uh, you would have the bearing uh, from the factory in a different spot. Our deluxe kits install the same way, so we're still going to have the bearing on the bottom. Everything's basically going to go in uh, the same as our other kit, but you can see here the 42 to 48s, they're both the same size, so it doesn't really matter which way you install them, except for we like to see that the lettering on them is facing up. So if they're in there, you know, put them both facing up. Uh, but same thing, you know, the kits come with this tool to press out the bushings. Uh, so if you have an old set or early Ford set of king pin, or spindles, excuse me, you're able to press out the old bushings and then install the bearings in the same manner as we talked about in the 37 to 41 kit. So uh, the only difference really with this is that on these, uh, you are almost always going to have the smaller cap on the bottom with the O-ring. And uh, let's say that uh, you go and you put this together and you're starting to uh, almost be done with it and you have your cap and your felt washer and you put it on and you put this grease cert in to lock that cap in. And let's say that, uh, well, the, the grease cert bottoms out before you're really tight or it bottoms out before you're tight to the cap. We also include these little washers in the kit that allow you to, you know, make up that difference. So if you bottom out, your cap's a little loose, go ahead and add a washer or two until you get it uh, tight and the, the grease cert is installed properly. There's lots of different things about these uh, the spindles that can cause you uh, aches and pains. You know, maybe not identifying your spindles properly or, you know, maybe getting a set that you were told was early Ford and finding out that, you know, they're either worn out or somebody has messed with them or machined them or modified them. So, uh, you know, there are, uh, there are a lot of value in purchasing uh, a brand new spindle from us. You know what it is, you know what's going to fit together, uh, and it really helps and saves you time. Uh, we understand uh, being traditional and, and having that traditional build and using uh, early Ford spindles. Uh, they have lots of benefits. The steering arms are forged into them. You're able to heat and bend them around some things to, to, uh, to clear some steering, but uh, if, if you're not able to find those uh, good condition early Ford spindles, uh, especially in the years that you like, uh, 37 to 48, uh, you know, there's, there's good value at, at $209.99. You can get a set of kingpins, uh, spindles, and everything already fitted together that will, for the most part, go right on uh, any one of our uh, early Ford I-beam or tube axles and uh, look great. So, uh, you know, I hope that this helps you. If you do have any other questions or you feel I didn't explain something extremely in depth, uh, you can give us a call and uh, we will help you uh, put this together and, and be happy with your install and, and uh, you know, have, have a good little build with your hot rod. So I'd like to thank you for joining me at Speedway Tech Talk and I hope to see you soon.